What up guys, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Debru and today a very special video. We're going to talk about all the awesome marketing opportunities that are still to come in 2020 in Q4. So let's dive in. Alright, so today we are going to talk about marketing opportunities for Q4 of 2020. But first, let me tell you that you can still join the Devro Suite beta test for free. And in that Devro Suite, you'll find all kinds of awesome software, all for your affiliate marketing journey. So make sure to go to devro.com and sign up or use the link below in the description, which will take you to the registration page once and for all. So today we're going to talk about the remaining Q4 2020 marketing opportunities. And as you know, Q4 is the period of the year with a lot of different holidays and a lot of different shopping sprees. So that means a lot of awesome opportunities for us as affiliate marketers. So let's take a look at what we've got. Here we go. So what is still to come? First of all, Thanksgiving in the United States of America will be on the 26th of November. The Thanksgiving of Canada has already been uh, held, but USA is still to come, which comes with a good marketing opportunity because Thanksgiving is one of the biggest holidays in America and families all over the country are looking forward for this family day which it kind of is and what it's a long hold tradition and they will eat turkey as you might know etc etc but there's also a bigger thing going on with thanksgiving because thanksgiving is not only the start of the holiday season but it's also the start of the shopping spree to be quite honest with you because right after thanksgiving a lot of companies are gonna put high discounts on everything that they've got because they know the holiday se season is here now it's the season of caring and giving and which comes with presents and you want those presents to be from your affiliate marketing campaign so let's walk through it because right after thanksgiving the day after is black friday and even though Black Friday also was originally a, ho a holiday from the USA, from the United States, it has now gone worldwide. And uh, Global Shopping Day at this point is hitting $7.4 billion in the US alone. And since it's now a worldwide thing, you can basically promote your offer under the Black Friday kind of niche all over the world and they will be familiar with it, which is very good. Uh, remember to do your research right though. The industry is super dynamic and trends come and go. So people make uh, their buying decisions within seconds. So you need to stay in the loop to follow the latest trends and adjust your marketing efforts to make the most of Black Friday sales. And don't miss your chance to get ready early. So if you're watching this, make sure you are already prepared or start preparing right now for your Black Friday sales um, so that you're ready to basically blast it as soon as Black Friday comes. And you also want to adjust your offer, make it fit for Black Friday, promote it as a Black Friday promotion, which will help you get a lot of conversions and then let's continue because only a couple of days later we've got another big discount day which also originated from the usa which is cyber monday and cyber monday is on no november the 30th uh, so the monday after thanksgiving and after black friday and this holiday also has gone worldwide uh, nowadays which is very cool and it's more of a Black Friday for the online world. Not saying that the online world does not uh, do anything on Black Friday, they do, but Cyber Monday is just an extra day for awesome discounts and cool promotions, mostly 
for companies that are on the internet. So what is next? So those are the three biggest, mostly USA, but Black Friday and Cyber Monday worldwide kind of shopping spree days. And then we have a European holiday, uh, mostly Western Europe, Christian Europe, I would say. It is St. Nicholas Day, and that's on December 6th. However, some countries celebrate it on December 5th uh, with uh, huge gifts, and etc. But the original date is December 6th. And this holiday is mostly celebrated in Europe, uh, mostly in the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, uh, Malta, I believe. So some of the more Western uh, countries in uh, Europe, but also some American cities, mostly with German roots in them will celebrate this day as well, but not as big in as in Europe. So if you really want to make the most out of St. Nicholas Day, you want to target European audience. Let's continue. Then we have free shipping day and free shipping day is on the December 14th. Also started in the USA as a sort of get your Christmas presents now and get free shipping kind of promotion started out in the USA but now it's also very popular in the UK and in Canada and what does it mean it's basically for all those people who still have to buy Christmas gifts and maybe they missed Black Friday and Cyber Monday or maybe they forgot something whatever it is free shipping day went kind of viral as a day where you can still get your Christmas presents and get them on time before Christmas Eve and with a discount which is not paying any shipping costs. So that's how you can promote your offer on free shipping day on December 14th uh, with as in get your Christmas presents before Christmas Eve, don't be too late and get some free shopping along with that. And then, of course, we have Christmas Eve, a worldwide event, the day before Christmas Day. And obviously, as you might know, a lot of gifts to family and friends are being exchanged on this day and the day after. So therefore, on the day itself, might not be a very good day for sales-wise, as everybody is just kind of relaxing with family, not really having that shopping spree anymore it's now the shopping is done and we're now exchanging gifts more of that kind of moment but it is is important to know that that day is coming because you can use it in your promotion and after christmas eve obviously we have christmas day itself also worldwide on december 25th and let's not forget hanukkah which is on the 18th from the top of my head which is kind of the Jewish version of Christmas as, as we know it in the, in the Christian kind of view. But then the Jewish, they celebrate Hanukkah. So very important to keep that in mind if you want to uh, basically target a specific group of people or whatever. So you could use that in your ads if you want to. After Christmas, the day after is Boxing Day. It's another worldwide holiday and it's on December 26th and basically this is the day where the marketers come back right after those two days where it was kind of slow you got Christmas Eve you got Christmas Day people are not really busy with uh, shopping but then on Boxing Day uh, we go right back the other direction uh, so it's um, a worldwide uh, thing and it's basically post Christmas sales so the stores have bulked up for their Christmas sales. They have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, free shipping day. Uh, so they have huge amounts of uh, basically uh, all kinds of tools, gifts, whatever they sell, right? So they have that in bulk. They sell as much as possible. And everything that is basically left after Christmas will go out of the doors with another sale on Boxing Day, 26th of December. So <clears throat> you can use this in your marketing campaign, in your affiliate marketing campaign as an extra sale kind of holiday 
uh, on December 26th, the day after Christmas. And after that, uh, we have New Year's Eve, which is the last day of the year, obviously. So December 31st is New Year's Eve, another worldwide holiday where people celebrate ending one year and starting a new year. So another very family-like holiday for most of them. But some people enjoy partying instead of spending time with people. Not a real day where you, where you exchange a whole lot of gifts as far as I know in any country. Uh, but maybe you can try to market New Year's Eve for you, your product as a nice holiday where you spend time with family or uh, want to have fun or maybe uh, if people go to parties, uh, maybe costumes or whatever it is, um, you can try to advertise with New Year's Eve in there. And then, and let's not forget, last but definitely not least, after Q4 of 2020 is over, we still have one huge milestone to come, which is not in 2020 and not in Q4, but in Q1 of 2021. And what's that, you ask? Well, in January 2021, we will launch the Dabaru Suite, which is an all-round affiliate marketing platform where you will find all the tools, services, and software that you need for your affiliate marketing campaign. And if you feel like, hmm, that's right after Q4, I want to make use of all that software while I am promoting during that popular Q4 in 2020. So I don't wanna wait for Q1 2021. I want the Deborah Suite now. Well, that's awesome because we are having a beta test right now. So you can join for free. Imagine that. The most popular period of the year, December, Q4, all kinds of holidays, and Deborah's Suite for free during the beta. That's awesome. So make sure to go to Deborah.com and sign up or use the link below in the description and sign up for your free Deborah's Suite beta account. And in Q1 2021, we will be all set and ready to launch the Deborah's Suite in January 2021. To stay posted, that's gonna be it for this one. I will catch you next time. Peace out.